Hello, today I'm going to share with you my peanut butter bars recipe, which has, happens to be my son's favorite treat. Um, quick, nothing to it, just has to sit in the fridge for about an hour to harden the chocolate, and then you're good to go. So you're going to want to get a medium bowl and you will mix together one cup of melted butter which we're going to go ahead and melt in the microwave and then you will have two cups of graham cracker crumbs but you just get graham crackers from the store we put ours in a freezer bag because the bags are a little bit thicker and won't puncture from the crackers and get holes and make the crumbs fall out everywhere. So my son's just gonna kinda show you how um, we do that. Or you can actually put them in your food processor and just chop them up that way, either way. Um, so you have your two cups of graham cracker crumbs. And then you want two cups of convection or sugar or powdered sugar. Put that in there. He's gonna go and check on that butter and see if it's completely melted. If not, put it in for another 30 seconds, buddy. And then we have one cup of peanut butter. So we're gonna scoop that in there. So as you can see, you know, he just puts the graham crackers into the bag. We use a rolling pin, kind of roll it, smash it, pound on it, whatever. Makes it easy to get the graham crackers all smashed up into small, tiny granules. All right, so we have our one cup of peanut butter, and I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing this while I am waiting for the melted butter. Okay. And that butter will actually give it the nice liquid we need to get it combined a little easier. And then what you want to do is put it in a 9 by 13 ungreased pan. So we will set that aside and get this mixed up and then we'll put it in there. Show them kind of lift it up. I'm gonna show them how, so you can see, you know, they're just small little granules. Basically, you just smash them up until it's small enough for the recipe that you're doing. Okay, so that butter should be just about done. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mix it a little bit, get some of these leftover chunks melted here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the one cup of melted butter. All right. And give it a good mix. You can just leave that there. So you can see, super easy to get the ground cracker crumbs all ready to go. Okay, so now you want to just make sure you mix so all the powdered sugar is mixed in with the peanut butter and the graham crackers. Okay, looking good here. So then you go ahead and pour the peanut butter mixture into your 9 by 13 pan. There we go. And just spread it around. You want to spread that around for me? Okay, so he's going to go ahead and spread that around. Um, you want to get it as even as possible because you're going to be pouring melted chocolate over it and it will uh, settle better if it's even rather than all lumpy and and uneven. Um, so while he's doing that, I'm going to take, you have 
one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can either melt them over the stove or I usually just melt mine in the microwave because it's super quick. So I usually do mine in increments of about 30 seconds, you know, mix it. If it's not done, mix it again so it doesn't burn. It's looking pretty good, buddy. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. So once the um, chocolate is melted, you will pour it over your peanut butter mixture, put it in the fridge for about an hour and let it chill. Because if it's not chilled, then the chocolate, you can't cut it, it's just a mess. And do you want to put in the peanut butter in here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Use that spatula. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add the four tablespoons of peanut butter to the chocolate chips. And on the recipe it says, you know, you have your one cup of peanut butter, which you'll use for the for the crust, and then your additional four tablespoons. That'll work, bud. I will put it in the microwave. So I will go ahead and get this peanut butter melted and then we will come back and put it on top of the crust and then we will go ahead and put it into the refrigerator. Okay, so we've got the chocolate all melted and I put in the four tablespoons of peanut butter into the melted chocolate chips. So the recipe calls for one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, but I always double the chocolate just because we uh, prefer to have more chocolate. Okay, so let me finish scooping that out and then spread it around. And then, like I said, you just put it into the refrigerator for an hour, let the chocolate harden, cut it up, and you are good to go. Okay. All right, so spread that around. You'll have to be super careful. I just find that Three cups of chocolate chips covers the nine by 13 pan easier than the one and a half cups. You kind of proportion the crust out to the chocolate. So yep, get the edges. So if you feel like you have, you know, a bunch of chocolate in the middle, you know, kind of take it from the middle to your sides or the corners. Looking pretty good. I think there's a little extra chocolate there, maybe spread out evenly. Yep. And you can always add nuts on the top if you want nuts to your peanut butter bars. Or just traditional though. We just like the plain chocolate and peanut butters. Nice. Looks good. So, just get some of these edges real quick here. And there you have it. Put that in your fridge for about an hour. We'll come back. See if it's hardened enough and cut some up. Okay, so we have waited and our chocolate is now hard enough so that we can cut these. So I just wanna show you how awesome these are. That and Lily kept bugging me. Are they done yet? Can we try one? Can we try one? So. Yeah. Cut up here. I'm gonna 
I'll elbow you in the face, Leland. Oops. My spatula was a little warm from the dishwasher, so that should help. All right. Okay. So as you can see, we got a thick layer of chocolate. We've got the crust. Okay, bud, I'll let you try the first bite for your birthday. They're good. Yeah, they better be good, huh? Yeah. All right, so that is our peanut butter bar recipe. Hope you try it. It's delicious. If you liked the video, if you please hit subscribe, like, and we'll see you next time.